Hello, this is Tim with Tadai Farm, and today's video is on this Parker grain buggy. Yeah, they used to call grain carts grain buggies uh, back when they first started making them. This is one of the early ones. Did find a serial number on it. It's a J6000. It's one of the first ones they made, but it's still in great shape. So we're going to go ahead and put a cover on. It's an ACI cover. They're out of North Dakota, and um, directions look pretty good. Still some questionable spots in there, so we'll see how it goes, but uh, stay tuned. We're going to show you what's involved here and what we have to do to get this put together. We'll be right back. All right. First step is to get things out of the way that are going to be in the way of the tarp. And for us, these brackets, there was eight of them on there, four on each side. I'm assuming it held an old bow set up to, for a tarp or something, but we didn't need those. So those got taken off. This end panel got taken off because it's bent and we're getting that remade. Um, took the internal ladder off because it attached up there and then here as well. But we'll probably just put a bolt on there to secure that hole. And I haven't decided whether we're going to move it to the side here, where we're going to put it there. And then this ladder comes off as well, but we're going to leave it there for now. I bought a new ladder from JM and it should be able to bolt two spots here on this lower panel anyway that was the first step was getting this stuff removed um i'm not sure what we got to do here yet i got a bracket being made to straighten this out and then we may have to cut that off but we'll see how that goes here in a little bit but anyway we're ready to start on this front here i got the air hose in there i got an extension cord drill impact i got everything laid out right here to get going so let's uh Go ahead and crawl in there and see what we got to do. Well, Max is up here to help me. If anybody's ever worked in a hopper wagon before, there's not a flat spot in here. And he struggled to get up there. I don't know, about a 45 degree angle. That's designed to let all the grain run out. At any rate, I cut some two by eights there and here to make as a platform to work on. So anyway, first step is we got to mark out these holes. There's five of them across there. On this ledge here, it's supposed to hang over a quarter of an inch according to the directions. So we're going to get this up. I got a Sharpie to mark it and uh, we'll get it lined up. All right, here's your All right, we got our holes drilled. We're just going to take the impact self-tapping nut or our bolt. And it recommends you put them about halfway. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to slide a little bit of caulk down through there so it's sealed and we'll be good. All right. That's all bolted down. And then we use round headed Allen head screws here, but I already used the impact to thread the hole. So we'll come back with those. I can do that from the outside on both sides. So that's what's involved in putting this on. We're gonna go down the sides here and get that stuff going. I'm gonna go into a little more detail about this cause I've talked about them a couple times, but I haven't explained them. That is a round headed bolt. It's just three eighths by one inch. And you use an Allen wrench to hold it. Those are what go on top where the tarp's gonna cover any bolts. You don't want that up there cause that could cut the tarp. But this whole bag is full of self tappers and self tappers, I don't know if you can see that. See how it's kind of cut? Got that cut there. And that enables that to uh, self tap it in that's what i'm using the impact for so we'll cut the holes with that and then we'll thread with these that works but they got some bolts here those and then there's some stainless steel stuff not that any of it needed to be stainless steel but we got one bag of that so we're putting those in certain spots i did talk to the manufacturer and asked if there was a special spot and they said no but and it's kind of a universal kit but not 
Um, these are, there's a couple different kinds of bows that you can put in there. These are the side mounts. Um, but there's a top mount. We don't have that style. And then this goes on the side because different hoppers have different, this sticks out. So with that sticking out, this kind of goes like that. However, oop, let me get you in the frame. However, when you go like that on the top, it doesn't fit right. Um, that one's a narrower. So we talked with the manufacturer. We're going to put it on top. I'll show you that. And then that holds this piece here on there. And this, when this gets lined up, this with this, that holds the tarp on that one side. So you'll see how that all goes together. Got another baggie of stuff we had opened and looked at. Uh, it goes different places. So, but anyway, and we got a big box over here full of stuff, the pipe and all that stuff. So that's the hardware, but we'll get back at it here. All right, this is the center hold down on the, we're putting it on the driver's side. Because when we unload corn, we'll come from that side. And in, if I do have somebody that can drive the tractor, that's the front. We'll be unloading from that side on the go. I doubt we ever do that, but just in case. Put the tarp on this side so when it's opened up, it's opened. Anyway, this is what's involved here. You got a bow strap that goes right here. And that piece slides in here and it'll go across. And this piece, I end up talking to the manufacturer on it. It looks like it's designed to go underneath. However, this is not wide enough to fit this piece here. So, and if I do put it under there, you can see how it's pretty straight now. It'd be, you know, cocked way back in there. So it just looked goofy. So I talked with them and this is two, two seven foot pieces. And you see how this is kind of goofed up? Well, it's the same way up here. So the thought was these are better edges for the tarp to go against than this. And that might tear the tarp. This would be a better, better opportunity to help the tarp last longer. So anyway, that bolts on there, two bolts here. And then like I talked to you earlier about these round headed, hex headed bolts go in there. And then um, we did put nuts underneath on those to help hold it and then this went in here and this is where i use the stainless steel there's six bolts and six of these uh uh round headed so we used them here and here and there's another one up there and there'll be one more back here when we get the back piece so that's kind of how that works then we bolted this on here now i'm going to put two more bolts down here help hold the bottom so this doesn't want to tip up this one's not so bad is that one down there when i put it together i did put the two bolts on the bottom already it's done ready to go all completed and then the bow straps you just split the difference i got three and it's a 14 foot box so right here seven foot and then they say come 30 inches off the the front and the back uh cap piece so this right here to the center is 30 inches from the back edge of that. So that kind of splits this difference because this is closer to almost 40 inches here. So that just kind of separates them up. And we got one more to put here in the back when we get there, but this is as far as we got so far. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of those done. And I'll show you what's different over there. Cause all we do over there is these bow straps and then there's something on the outside. These only go on this side. So we'll be right back. All right, got our straps on this side now. Got this installed. I now can i can drill a hole in the side of this run a bolt through that so this doesn't move around got this one installed we still got to do the back yet but i want to talk about this right here plate down there and then there's a plate right here and that's those couplers i bought that's inch and a quarter pipe that gray stuff is never sees so put that on there uh that coupler is welded to that plate and bolted in place and then there's a bolt there on the center of it going through and i welded a nut on the inside that nuts back inside here 
So it's not gonna go out and it can't come in because this pipe's there. If you see in this other picture, there's a chain that hung across there. And I think what was happening is the grain, when it hit that, it'd pull these sides in because the sides, both that side and this side here were bowed way in and that wasn't gonna work putting a tarp on here. So by doing this, that was the way I handled it. Um, I think it'll work real good. So we're gonna continue on to the back and then we'll pick this back up. All right, while we finish this end cap on this end, it's gonna make it a lot harder to get in and out without the ladder. So my son was here this afternoon and we just knocked a bunch of this out. So let me catch you up. We went ahead and put this new ladder on while he was inside. We could hang it up here, mark it. He could hold the bolts on the inside and I was on the outside. We got this ladder installed and then the ladder inside we went ahead and used this right here and we marked it and we put it in also and got him tightened up it's a smaller ladder i showed it earlier but we put that on so now we've got access in and out and then we went ahead and put this end panel back on so also while he was in there we needed to do this there's a bracket back here that's going to hold the tarp in place when you roll the tarp out your your handle that hangs down that you crank with well, it mounts here. Here's how we did this. There's two ways to do it, but I utilized the hole that I already had here. Put this bracket on here. There's multiple holes here. You can do it this way. Or there's a bracket you can put on here. If you wanted to hang this clear at the bottom, you can put this bracket on here. And then I still utilize this here. I probably didn't need it that bad, but this moved just a little bit. So to secure that up, we went ahead, there's two brackets here to make this a different length, bolts onto here. This is just a little U-channel type thing, about two inches wide and about an inch. So bolt that on here, bolt this to the right length that, that made it pretty sturdy. Once I had all that, that gave me the determination for this hole here. So we did that one while he was in the box, he dropped the screw out and we bolted that up. So now we got everything done inside the box. We're good to go on put with the rest of this tarp i went ahead and mounted this on here it's just a standoff it'll go this way to hold that bracket that way when it's on or closed and then this way when it's open so uh yeah it's hanging outside the ladder i didn't intend on that i was thinking it'd hang in here but there's not room to do that in here so we've got it outside here and that's just how it's going to work all right we've been moving along here we got our three hold downs down got the end cap on now so we're in pretty good shape there. I did go ahead and set this in here. Here's video of how to put this in here. I'll drop that in right here. Basically, you just drill the hole. Um, I kind of held it up tight there, drill the hole. And then um, you want to make sure that's pushed all the way up in there. Try not to mash your thumb when you're trying to hit that little uh, tip of that rivet and then uh, drive it on in there. And there's four of them, one up there, one here towards the middle, this one here, and then one down here on the end. And we stretched that really tight to start with, so it wasn't going to have a, be. it's designed to be stretched. So we're good there. I've got it pretty centered on the box. So let's go to the other side. Okay, first thing we got this tarp over here. First thing we got to do is get this all lined up on this spline in. This spline in is on the back for what we're doing here for this cart. If you were something else you want to put it on the front you could but for what we're doing here we want it on the back and then i want this whole mechanism here lined up so it's right here like this okay so now that we got that length we come down here and i want to line this up so it's just an inch short of the front of that because there's something going on here i'll show you in a second before we put this return strap thing in here like this we gotta put these brackets on, so let me step back and show you how I did those. Okay, we're installing these little clamps. They uh, go right like this. So that's all we're doing, hopefully you can see. Just a self-tapping screw, 
goes through the hole now. And you want to make sure that's straight so you don't get a wrinkle. And we got four of them going across here, so we'll be right back. I step back to show you putting those in. This, there are screws going in there, but this is smaller. They ship it so it's in two pieces. This is just regular gray PVC. And because I didn't have much room, I separated it back out again. But we want that pushed together, so let me push that together real tight here. Hold on. It's not glued, but you want to make sure it's put together, and I put a little twist to it. Then you slide this thing in there. All right. I showed you putting those on. We cut this, I slid that in there like I showed you. And I just used the hammer to tap that around to get it on. And then there's just a little screw, you stealth tapping screw goes in there and that holds this from spinning or popping back out. And then that tube just slides right down through there. So, and this will slide in and out. I'll show you where this goes in a minute. All right, we pre-drilled those you come in an inch and a half on both ends and then one foot in and then from one foot you go to two foot down so you go three foot in five foot seven foot but i end up making a gap here because of my bow is on the inside and i didn't want to drill through that so we modified and did that where there's two screws right there so and then yeah just pre-drilled all those and then we got to have the tarp on here because that end piece, that's got to get screwed in down there. Let me get a little closer, I'll show you. All right, that's the inch and a half in one. And then I drilled another one after I got this put on there so that I knew where to drill that. And this is all going to be here because this is all part of this. And I just used a C clamp to hold it back up out of my way. So pretty straightforward and simple for that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did use one tube of caulk. Not quite half under that one and on the front one. And then patched up a few other spots where it might leak in. So it's secured. It's not going to leak too bad on me if it does leak. Um, but anyway, there you go. Um, so I'll put on it. The, the manual, I'm going to tell you, the manual was pretty good. I only had to call the one time to figure out these little brackets right here i wasn't quite sure how to handle those but uh all in all i think it's pretty good um with that bungee over there it pulls out up tight this kind's kind of uh, this end's kind of loose but i was kind of working around this kind of tight here but that ladder is going to be a nice addition um overall this is going to be good uh, looking forward to using it we got some corn we need to take into the grain elevator and this is what we're going to use so nice thing about it is i can load at night and then we can go to the uh, grain elevator or we got an ethanol plant here in town so yep there you go that's how it all went together hopefully you can see all that but worked out pretty good looking forward to using this there's what it looks like all spread out on top, rolled up tight underneath this bracket here. We are gonna have to do something right here because I'm afraid that's gonna wear a hole. And that's where these two pieces come together. If you remember earlier, I talked about putting those the way I did just to have a cover here to not uh, wear a hole like that. So, but that rolls up tight, nice across there. I think, uh, I think it's gonna work out really good. So I hope you enjoyed this little project. There's many more on my channel. So go check them out in the history. And uh, subscribe and you'll get more of them. Thanks for watching.